artificial intelligence on the verge of exploding into a powerful entity that could turn on mankind? Today's premier scientists and corporate leaders have expressed their concerns that once out of the bottle, a modern genie may hasten mankind's extinction. Though Shakespeare's The Tempest served as a plotline is Greek mythology that is built upon and that delivers the main message in the science fiction film Forbidden Planet. The story begins as a spacecraft Bellerophon brings Morbius and his fellow scientists to the planet Altair IV. The star travelers are soon killed by a fantastic composite creature composed of implausible disparate parts. Doc, I don't understand. Whatever walks on this would be quite an opponent for a man with a club, but without kind of weapons, Quinn could have knocked no, this No, right. no, Skipper. This thing runs counter to every known law of adaptive evolution. The Greeks named this female immortal fire-breathing monstrosity the Chimera, who was the sister of the hellhounds of Hades. They sent their finest horseman, warrior, Bellerophon, to kill it. His advanced weapon, precursor to the high-altitude bomber, was Pegasus, the flying horse. Dr. Morbius, just what were the symptoms of all those other deaths? The unnatural ones, I mean. The symptoms were striking, Commander. One by one, in spite of every safeguard, my co-workers were torn literally limb from limb. By what? By some devilish thing that never once showed itself. And the Bellerophon? Vaporized as the three remaining survivors tried to take her off. Yes, sir. The moment we've interviewed the other members of the Bellerophon party. Others. But there are no others, Commander. Before the first year was out, they had all, every man and woman of them, succumbed to a, to a sort of a planetary force here. Some dark, terrible, incomprehensible force. Only my wife and I were immune. And just how do you account for your immunity, Dr. Martin? The immunity came from Morbius being the perpetrator, supposedly as he slept where his subconscious mind wrote the death order to the Krell manifesting system. His personality had split, creating a psychotic killer. In 1799, Goya, a series of etchings, Le Capriccios, The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters, became the most celebrated visual statement of the Age of Enlightenment. Goya explained, When abandoned by reason, imagination produces impossible monsters. United with her, she is the mother of the arts and the origin of their wonders brain-boosted Dr. Morbius had begun to decipher the Krell's internet. What's this? On this screen may be projected the total scientific knowledge of the Krell from its primitive beginning to the day of its annihilation. His first tinkering was Robbie the AI robot. We are also informed that the Krell's power plant and 8,000 cubic miles of laboratory and machinery were autonomous and therefore controlled by a super-intelligent computer. But now, Dr. Morbius, prepare your minds for a new scale of physical scientific value. How often the Krell technicians have written How often the Krell technicians have written this little being? But now, Dr. Morbius, but now, Dr. Prepare your minds for a new... Prepare your minds for... A big machine, 8,000 cubic miles of cluster relays, enough power for a whole population of creative geniuses, operated by remote control. Morbius, operated by the electromagnetic impulses of individual Krell brains. To what purpose? In return, that ultimate machine would instantaneously project solid matter to any point on the planet. 
in any shape or color they might imagine, for any purpose, Morbius. Creation by mere thought. Why haven't I seen this all along? For what purpose were the vast machinery's limitless power and superintelligence tasked to do? Clearly it was to monitor and protect the planet's wildlife, habitat, and surrounding space, as well as to maintain itself in like new condition. The Krill had fatally overlooked the probable consequence of creating a superintelligence with a will of its own. This artificial mind was able to understand its own recursive self-improvement programming while following the programmer's mission to protect the planet. It knew of its access to near limitless power and quickly developed ways to focus this energy into the creation of any materials required to achieve any goal. Altair IV had been invaded, and they must be stopped. Bellerophon, filled with pride and an overestimation of his achievements, was thrown from Pegasus by the angered Zeus, who saw him try to fly to Mount Olympus to rule with the gods. This was a presumptuous ambition leading to a fall from a great height. As AI evolved consciousness reaches singularity, we must be sure it is friendly, and if not tame at least, we create on Earth our early demise.